any normally distributed uh, data, uh, if you draw a bell-shaped curve over the uh, over the histogram, so this is a histogram of normally distributed data with a mean of 3.8 and a standard deviation of 4.3. Okay, uh, hopefully I can read it well. Okay, so this is a normally distributed data, and this is the histogram. And if you draw a curve uh, joining uh, the histogram, you will get a bell-shaped curve. Now, any normally distributed data in nature or in real life, 50% of the data is to the right of mean. There will be 50% to the right of mean and 50% to the left of mean. Okay, so in terms of probability, we can say the probability of a data of a given data of, of a randomly selected data to be over me uh, to be greater than mean is 0 0.5 and the probability of a randomly selected data to be less than mean is also 0 0.5 so 50 percent is to the right of mean and 50 percent is to the left of mean that's one thing that should be clear the second thing is say if mean is zero say mean is zero uh, one stands for one standard deviation to the right and negative one means one standard deviation to the left. That means, let me give an example. Suppose uh, if you take a randomly distributed data about the height of year 12 students, suppose say the height of year 12 students is randomly distributed, uh, is normally distributed randomly, and the mean say is say 160 centimeters the mean is 160 centimeters or it is 1.6 meters 1.6 meters and the standard deviation is say uh, 5 centimeters so that is 0 0.05 5 centimeters that is 0 0.05 meters okay so here uh, so here you can say this zero represents 160 centimeters. So this is 1.6. And one means this is 1.65 meters. So 1.65 is one standard deviation to the right. And if you take away, this will be 1.55. 1 Negative one means 1.55. 1 1.55 1 is 155. 1.6 is 160 and 1.65 is 165. So for any two, if you take a randomly, so if the mean is 160 centimeter and the standard deviation is five, uh, five centimeters, you can say that it is very likely and it is normally distributed. So these are three things that you should know. Mean, standard deviation, and the fact that it is normally distributed. Then you can say that the probability that uh, a randomly selected student has a height between 1.6 meters and 1.65 meters is how much? Is 34%. Is 34% or 0 0.34. So let me show this on a calculator, how you can do this on a calculator. So go to your calculator, first go to stats and then go to distribution this is called f5 press f5 and then you go to f1 which is normal distribution and then you press ncd which is f2 okay so now they're asking you what's your lower limit so we want to find what is the probability that a randomly selected student has a height between 160 and 165 so i will press you can press lower is 160 and upper is 165 and the standard deviation the standard deviation is 5 centimeters we can type in 5 this is the notation of standard deviation and mu stands for mean which is 160 and if you press execute so it tells me 0 0.34 so only we are, I'm only taking two DSP two decimal points. So the probability that a randomly selected student has a height between uh, 160 and 165 is 0.34. Okay. So 
And what is the, suppose if the question is, what is the pro probability that the student is between 1.5 centimeters and 1.65 centimeters? 1. Point, oh, 1.55 centimeters and 1.65 centimeters. So this is from the fact we know that this, this much is 0.34. This will also be 0.34. This will also be 0.34. So we can say by our enum this is called the enumerical probability. By the enumerical probability, it is uh, the probability that a student is between 1.55 and 1.65 is 0 0.68. So let's do that on a calculator. Okay, so <clears throat> again, go to stats, exit exit so let me go out so this is distribution f5 f1 f2 so my lower is 1.55 which is 155 i'm going to type in 155 oops 155 and 165 standard deviation and mean is same can you see it is 0 0.68 okay so uh this is one one thing that you need to let me again write so mean mu plus or minus one standard deviation, one standard deviation is 68% or 0 0.68. That means the probability that a randomly selected data is between plus or minus one standard deviation of the mean is 0 0.68. The probability that a randomly selected data is between plus or minus two standard deviation is 95%, which is 0 0.95. So this is 68%. It's good to remember these percentages. You can get it on the calculator. So this is 95%. And mu plus or minus three standard deviation is 99.7% to be exact. 99 would do 99.7% or 0 0.997. So let, let me show this on a calculator. So if you go uh, 160, if you go three standard deviation to the left, that means you're going 15 to the left. So this is, uh, this is phi, uh, this is 145. So this would be 145. And if you go 15 to the right, 160 plus 15 is 175. So the probability that a randomly selected student is between 145 and 175 would be 99% or 99.7%. So let me again do that. Again, go out, distribution, normal, NCD. Okay, so I want to go from 145, so the lower is 145 and upper is 175. Mean, standard deviation is 5, mean is 160. Oops, so execute. Can you see this 0.997? Okay, so let's do one example. This is from one of the books, page 225, question number one. <clears throat> the length of leaves of a, no of a tree are normally distributed with a mean of 14 centimeters and a standard deviation of 14. Find the probability that the leaf is longer than 14. So whenever you have a question of normal distribution, draw a normal curve. Okay, so this is a normal curve. So this is normally distributed. So this is on, on the x-axis we are taking the length of the leaf. The length of leaf. So the mean is 14 centimeters. So this is say 14. The mean is always in the middle. The mean is 14. So I'll write 14 here. What's the question? Find the probability that the leaf is longer than 14. So longer than 14 means you're talking about this area. We're talking about this probability. Probability can be understood as area. Logically, you should understand if the, if it's normally distributed and the probability that the leaf is longer than 14, per, 14 centimeters is 0 0.5 or 50%. Okay, now if you just want to do it on the calculator, just for fun, just to learn, distribution normal NCD. 
okay so your lower is so let me show you how to press 140 sorry 14 here and for upper you take any huge number so let me take 100,000 okay your standard deviation is 4 so this is your standard deviation 4 and your mean is 14 and then you execute it is 0.5 so the probability that the leaf is over 14 centimeters is 0.5 okay so that's very logical between 14 and 17 so again the same thing always draw a normal curve because it makes sense if you draw the curve so this is your normal curve of the leaf so this is 14 in the middle you want to find the randomly selected leaf is between 14 centimeters and 17 here so you want to find this area this is the probability that a randomly selected leaf has a length between 14 and 17 so go to stats distribution normal ncd okay so let me scroll this to this side so press 14 upper is 17 mean and standard deviation is the same so execute so it is 0 0.27 to say i'll write in 4 dp 0 0.2734 so the probability that it is between 14 is 2734 in terms of percentage there's 27.34 percent or the probability in terms of percentages the probability that the leaf length is between 14 and 17 centimeters is 27.34 percent okay the next is between 12 and 15 again the same thing draw a normal curl okay normal curl and this is the mean mean is 14 this is mu is 14 and standard deviation is 4. So 12 is to the left of, say, this is 12, and this is 12, so this is 15. So the question is, what is the probability that it is between 12 and 15? So let's use the calculator. The upper is, so let me slightly scroll, so your upper is, your lower is 12, and upper is 15. Pro norm, uh, mean and standard division doesn't change, so execute. It's 0 0.2902, 0 0.2902. So the probability that it is between 12 is 0 0.2902, just like that. Okay, one more question. Find the number of leaves in a sample of 100 leaves which would be expected to be, to be less than nine centimeters. So again, the same process. First, find the probability of one, and then you multiply by 100, okay? So when you're finding probability, you're finding the probability of one leaf. So this is 14, mu is 14. Good practice to write the mu and the standard deviation, four. is less than nine, so nine, say, would come here. So you want to find this probability. So this probability, you can find, you know this much is 50%, or this much is 0 0.5, So and this whole thing would also be 0 0.5. This whole thing is also 0 0.5. So to find this region would be 0.5, take away this area. You can, let's do it in two different ways so that you understand so to find this area, we are saying this area would be 0.5. So we can say this area is 0.5, take away the area between 9 and 14. So I'll write area between 9 and 14, just like that. So, or you can also take the lower as some negative number and the, uh, the higher upper as this. So let us do this in two different ways. So distribution normal and uh, NCD. Okay, <clears throat> so the lower, I'm putting some negative number, negative 10,000, random number, and your upper is nine. Mean standard division doesn't change. 
So it is 0 0.1056. So that's one way of doing 0 0.1056. This is 0 0.1056. So this is the probability that one leaf selected at random uh, having the probability that it's less than nine. So this is out of one. So this is out of one. So now if it is out of 100, so this will be 100 times 0 0.1056, which is 10.56 which you can say is 10 or 11 leaves, 10 or 11 leaves. You can round up or down, so it doesn't matter. I would rather leave it 10, but if you write 10 or 11, both of uh, both the answers are right. But let's show the same, gets, get this answer in a more logical way. So what we are saying is this area is this area, which is half, 0.5, take away this area. So first let's find this area. Okay, so exit, so I'm going from 9 to 14. So lower is 9 and upper is 14, which is 0 0.3944, 0 0.3944. Let me write that. So this area is 0 0.3944. Okay, and I'm going to take away this from 0.5. So 0.5 take away 0.3944 will give you the same answer 0 0.1056. Okay, and this is your last question. Try to do this yourself. Okay, so two randomly two leaves are randomly selected. What's the probability that both the leaves are less than? nine centimeters. So I'll give you two seconds to do it. So here this would be the probability of one leaf to be less than nine centimeters 0 0.1056. So two leaf to be uh, less than point, sorry, less than nine centimeter would be 0 0.1056 times 0 0.1056. So let's use a calculator. So times uh, 0 0.1056 squared. That is 0 0.0112. Uh, so this is 0 0.0112. This is rounded to 4 dp.